Hi everyone, my name is uh, my name is Marine. Welcome back to my planet. Thank you for joining me as I ride into work. And I just I don't know. I have a lot of thoughts that I wanted to get out. This camera is gonna like these streets aren't the most smooth, so it's gonna start like bumping and stuff. But I don't know. It's like let me just make a fun little vlog right now where I tell my thoughts on a particular subject. I don't know how often I'll do this, but <clears throat> I thought let's start today. So my thoughts on is Weight Watchers a diet? Now, as someone who's been doing Weight Watchers for years since this program was points no yes yeah, since it was points plus so quite a few years someone who's gotten a goal recently kept off and more importantly kept off 63 pounds um what are my thoughts so you're probably expecting me to come in and say no weight watchers isn't a diet it's a lifestyle like so many other people in any meeting you go to throughout the country say but first of all i don't even know what that means what does that mean? It's on a diet. It's a lifestyle. Can't people who are on a diet be saying the same thing? Can't someone who's doing keto be saying, this is my lifestyle? Can't someone who's doing a Mediterranean diet or intermittent fasting or whatever it is say, this is my lifestyle. This is something I do on a consistent basis. And this is something that I plan on doing for a long time or whatever. I feel anything can be a lifestyle. I don't I don't like that wording. I don't like how it sounds. Maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe I'm just dumb. Do you get what that means? Because I sure as heck don't. I think what would be more effective. Why is it red again? I only have like 10 minutes to get to work. It's going to take me like 12. Oh, well. I'll get there when I get there. Um, so I think a more effective wording would be it's not a diet it's and yes it's more wordy but it gets the point across clearer like it's not a diet it's a sustainable lifestyle no it's not a diet it's a lifestyle change for sustainable results or something or along those lines because i don't know you'll have people saying it's not a diet it's a lifestyle girl what does that even mean i don't know let me know if you're in with that or not. But yeah, you're probably expecting me to say that. And I have to say that <clears throat> you can easily turn this into a diet. Yes, you can. For me, I felt like freestyle or the blue plan, as you guys might know, was a diet. And Weight Watchers is always changing plans. So uh, they have the point system, but they'll change the algorithm or they'll change something like every two years based on the science. But... Um, yeah, for me, I felt Freestyle, which was a program a couple years ago. It came after Beyond the Scale. I loved Beyond the Scale. I didn't love it as much as uh, Points Plus, but I did love Beyond the Scale. And I had 30 points on Beyond the Scale. And then suddenly Freestyle comes around. Oopsie, what I mean, that it's going to be falling and because these roads are not the best. So, um, yeah, Freestyle, I got 23 points and but i got a whole bunch of zero point foods cool right not cool because i wasn't eating all those zero point foods i was maybe eating like two or three off the list and that too not on a consistent basis to justify having lost seven points and that too i felt like i had to eat these foods every single day and i was hating it and i was getting bored and this was the case for a lot of people there was even a back to 30 movement that i was a part of yes so i don't know i feel like it can be a, but that was just for me now there's a lot of people who loved blue who loved freestyle and who lost all their weight and i think that's great it just wasn't for me and it wasn't for a lot of other people as well oh sorry and you can easily turn this program into a diet how by eating the foods that you don't like to eat now suddenly you have people who are and i sort of understood this on previous programs because on previous programs there was no way to actually earn points except rollovers and on this but on this program there is ways to um, earn points but yeah people would be going for the lowest point everything you know it was oh i want the one point tortilla i want the two point bread and that was all they were eating 
and that was me for a while you know getting the powdered peanut peanut butter and making it into the actual consistency I don't like powdered peanut butter I don't mind it in my oats or like smoothies or something but I don't like powdered peanut butter I'm sorry you guys this keeps falling so if you want to just listen and like go on a walk or not watch whatever that's fine but um yeah so I was eating these things and I felt miserable but I would keep saying, it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. But I felt miserable because this was all I was eating. I was eating the one point bread and I would get two of those. So two points and then the one point powdered peanut butter. And I hated all three of those, th all two of those ingredients. But I was still eating it because I felt this is what I had to eat. Because so and so lost 100 pounds eating this stuff. And I was miserable and I hated it. And bam, it's a diet now. It's a diet you have to eat the foods that you like and then one day I just scanned regular bread that I wanted to eat and you know what the difference was two points two stinking points you're telling me I'm making myself miserable over two points so this is why I love meetings and I think meetings are fantastic and a great and a great resource especially for those who don't have anyone in their corner in like your day-to-day -day life who supports your weight loss I think meetings are great but they can also be really toxic in that you'll have people recommending these foods and my leader used to do a lot I love her but I don't think she should have done this it helped her but I don't know because she would do um, food finds and people would talk about what they finds which can be helpful but also harmful because she would start talking about powdered peanut butter and how everyone loved it and now suddenly I'm thinking oh well I have to eat this why can't I just have regular old peanut butter? I'll fork over the two points if it'll keep me happy and satiated. And I find that eating less of something that, that actually tastes good, like ice cream. Yeah, you can have half a cup of Halo Top for like, what, two, three points? Or like one tablespoon of Ben & Jerry's for maybe like the same points. I would I find that having that one tablespoon keeps me fuller for some reason keeps me happier keeps me more satiated and you can turn this program into a diet by getting so obsessive and getting in that mindset where if your zero point food or your go-to food isn't available like the earth's ending you'll see this you'll, people will go to or people will avoid going to functions and gatherings because they're not gonna have because oh the chicken that they're gonna have there it's not gonna be chicken breast it's not gonna be zero points oh I can't go there I can't eat that because that's regular Greek yogurt that's not fat free Greek yogurt oh I can't have that because that's not on my zero points list. oh I can't have that because that's full fat that's full sugar that's full this that's full that that's not that's not um, reduced sugar, that's not sugar free, that's not cal calorie free, whatever. What? Girl, do you hear that? What, what is me saying that? What does that sound like to you? A stinking diet. If you're doing that, if you're going into places and you're freaking out or you're not eating something because, oh, this isn't 0%, whatever. And I only say this because I've done this myself. I have 100% turned this into a diet myself. I'm still gonna be late, but you know what? I'll get there when I get there. Um, I don't remember what I was saying, but yeah, you can so turn this into a diet. I've turned this into a diet before and I was miserable. So if you're doing the plan right now and you're like, I'm miserable, it could be because you've turned it into a diet because you're not eating the foods you like because you're saving points. Oh my gosh, you'll have people who are saving points. I don't want to dig into my weekly. I can't dig into my weeklies. Oh, I'm not going to eat these points. I'm just going to eat my zero point foods. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to eat my zero point foods. Congratulations. It's a diet now. So when I say is Weight Watchers really a diet? Yes, it is. If you're doing all of these things that you really shouldn't be doing. It's a diet. If you're eating all this stuff that worlds are really bad here. Um, if you're eating all this stuff that's just zero points and you're too scared to dig into something else, you can, oh my gosh, wow, <laughs> this is not safe, oh wow, no cops around, I'm good, oops, <laughs> it literally just fell, oh my gosh, okay, but yeah, it's so easy 
to turn this into a diet. It's so easy to, you can. I feel like it is a diet. And personally, I feel like any program, I'm gonna put this down, you guys aren't gonna see my face, I have to park. Any program in which you are eating less than you normally do, I do feel like that's a diet. Is Weight Watchers a diet? I don't like calling it a diet. I personally don't like calling it a diet. But you know what? You can feel free to disagree. Please do disagree. This is just my opinion. It is. Because a lot of people turn it into a diet. A lot of people are doing things that they really shouldn't be doing on this program. And that's just my two cents. So let me know if you agree. I'm pretty sure there will be tons of people who completely disagree. And that's fine. But that's just my thoughts on is Weight Watchers a diet for a lot of people yeah for me I for me personally I don't think so but I need to really go in right now so let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below maybe I'll do more of these videos and hopefully maybe I'll get a better holder or maybe I just I don't know this was a hot mess but you know what it's all good so please be sure to subscribe like this video and I'll see you guys next time Bye.